Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. It's been a nice hoops night. We've got 1819 Panini Donners Optic Basketball coming at you. 12 box. Pick your team, number three. Big, big thank you to... Switch screen zero. A big thank you to all of these folks right here for getting into it. On the 31st, pick your team number three. Ed Ram with that last spot mojo. And here is the fresh case right here. Good luck, everybody. Sam Brog, you can you can limit those hellos to me just once a night. It's fine. You don't have to say it five times a night. Vinny is looking for the his Hamadou Diallo, one of one. All right, Vinny. We haven't seen a one of one auto yet. Could be due. Hoops galore tonight, folks, and we have more of those autographed basketball that's, that are f already sold out that we're going to break uh, a little bit later tonight. Some finals here. We've got the Milwaukee Bucks beat the Raptors in Toronto, 105-92. to Giannis had 19, Chris Middleton had 18. We've got another final in Detroit. The Dallas Mavericks were hanging on. But they finally fell to the Pistons, ninety-three to eighty-nine. They got they kept it close though. Magic beat the Pacers, one hundred seven to one hundred. And we got a game that's close to finishing. About five minutes left in San Antonio. Spurs and the Nets are tied at one hundred one apiece. And we got games just starting in in L.A. and in Gold and in Northern California as well, and in Oakland. Warriors are up early, 23-12 on the 76ers. Five minutes left in the first quarter. And with seven, about seven or eight minutes left in the first quarter in L.A., Clippers are up on the Lakers, 11-8. So er early here. I was on. I laid points with the Pistons. Did not work. Minus six. I only won by like four. Um... I had Pacers money line, but it looks like they are really struggling without Oladipo. More than I thought they would, especially against the Orlando Magic, who've been playing okay, but still. I do have the Nets plus the points, so I might be okay there. All right. First box and a train whistle. Yes, Retro Series Wilt Chamberlain, two out of five. Nice. That is for David Bruins and my Lakers. Little Laker Joe Mojo. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice start. Anthony Davis, future Laker? Maybe. Dan Smith Jr., a lot of NBA. Dennis, Dan Smith Jr. going to the Knicks. Kawhi Leonard's going to be a free agent. Who knows what's going to happen anymore. Luka Doncic now has Porzingis teaming up with him. There's Lime Green, Miles Turner. We'll sleeve all of those uh, all of those parallels like this up. Our shipping team will take care of that. Just in the interest of time, we want to breeze through this break. There's Elio Kobu to uh, 199. Wait, where'd that pile go? And I was starting here. There it is. Let's set those right there. 
that was definitely a surprising trade. Looks like the uh, looks like the Knicks are clearing a ton of cap space. I think the Knicks really think uh, that they're gonna get Kevin Durant and or and or Kyrie Irving in the offseason. There's Rajon Rondo, Pink Velocity. We'll see. There's Porzingis right there. Speaking of the unicorn, that's a he's a big dude. 7'3, 240. He move he moves like he moves like Russell Westbrook. There's Gordon Hayward, Lime Green to 149. I think it'll be interesting to see. How the NBA shape is Porzingis playing again this year? What, what, when's his return? Your redemption is Vincent Edwards, rated rookie signatures blue for the Rockets. That'll be Peter Eng. There's your first auto. Next box. Someone was asking. Uh, someone was asking earlier. Um, someone was asking earlier. Hey, do, does that make? I think it was Gavin. Does, does that make the Dallas Mavericks like perennial playoff contenders? Oh, okay. So Chris saying, I heard February. Time, uh, time frame for Porzingis. It could be interesting. They've got some work. To, they've, they've, they've got to add. They've got to continue adding some pieces. But Porzingis has to stay healthy. And it's been, you know. So that's. I think that's another. That was another key. But if he can stay healthy, right? And if Luka Doncic is the real deal, that's two solid, that's two fantastic pieces right there. Now they just need to fill out the rest of that team. If they can get another superstar there, I think it requires three these days, right? At least, at least to compete with the Warriors. Get a few, another superstar there, maybe a more of a, an experienced superstar there. Some solid role players, a couple more drafts that turn out well. I don't know, that might be it right there. They could they could be perennial contenders for years to come. Chad, what's going on? Um, we hit Ben Simmons. That was a good that was a good basketball. Shaq was good. We got a Kevin Love basketball that comes with an autographed jersey, which I thought was neat. There's Mitchell Robinson. These rated rookie hollow cards of like the top rookies those could go for a lot Jeff Teague to 199 and wow your autograph is Giannis Antetokounmpo woo David Shaw with the Milwaukee Bucks. Nice. Nine out of 25. There's Chris Dunn for the Bulls, 99. Nice, Giannis. Imagine, imagine when Giannis develops an outside shot, a three-point shot, like Anthony Davis or Brooke Lopez. <laughs> how insane, how how just unguardable Giannis will be. There's Frank Tilakina at a 199. There's rated rookie Kevin Knox. That's an interesting backcourt now, right? Or no, he's a forward, right? 
Well, that's an interesting team now, right? You got Dan Smith Jr., who I think could work well in that team. Wow, and a one-of-one one, Pau Gasol? It's only the second box. Look at this. Uh, Larry with the Spurs gets the one of one Pau Gasol. No ink, but still cool to get a one of one. And then all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! All right, okay. And a Pink Velocity, Michael Porter Jr. to 79. All right, next box. Great start. Yeah, I know, Davij. It seems seems like seems like this YouTube issue has not been going away. We don't uh we don't think it's our it's it's we don't think the issue is on our end, but we we still have done all the usual troubleshooting stuff and all that stuff. So we we've double checked what we could on our end, but it really seems like it's a it's a YouTube issue because I think last night someone was saying. Other streamers are having the same issue. Some Fortnite streamers are having the same issue. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. Polar vortex, maybe. A lot more people indoors because of the polar vortex. That could be possible. Maybe they're overloading some servers. It's possible. Millions of people staying home. Staying home from school, from work. Yeah, we, we even looked at our, we, if you look at the dashboard of our YouTube page, there's like a little stream health kind of uh, indicator there, status indicator. They say everything looks so excellent. Green, go. And I think the other weird thing is that, is that there seems to be, like half the people seem to be like, yeah, everything's fine. And then, you know, and then the other half of the people are like, no, it's terrible. There's Danny Green. So if it was an issue for us, there's Dan Asell for the Nuggets. We were just watching a, uh, I don't think he was in there, but we were watching the 1984 NBA All-Star Game on the on NBA TV Hardwood Classics. And they were, I think it was at Denver. All right, so that goes to Michael Golder in the Nuggets. There's these two inserts right here. There's to Michael Green to 199. Grayson Allen, rated rookie, hollow. We'll save one of those Luka Doncic's as well. That was Luka Doncic hollow. How much do those go for in a secondary market? Million dollars? All right, so Chris says he looked up an article in the Post late December, and they were initially thinking that Porzingis will be back end of February, early March. There's Brandon Ingram to 149 for the Lakers. Hmm. Interesting. Let's pop open this uh, next box here. So the Dallas Mavericks are 23 and 28. It looks like they're... 13 and a half games. How many games back? 
Maybe like five games? Five games behind a playoff spot? I'm not sure. I mean, they lost DeAndre Jordan. But I don't know. They could still add some pieces. I don't know if they're... Are they going for a playoff spot? Or are they just kind of looking for... Looking for the future? Maybe. Probably for the future. I'll just ease Porzingis into it post-injury. You know, maybe they get a decent draft spot. Can add some depth there. Add some free agents in the offseason. The Lakers broadcast also talking about that trade. Yeah, Dallas gets Porzingis, Tim Hardaway Jr., Trey Burke, and Courtney Lee. A couple expiring contracts and Dennis Smith Jr. going back to the Knicks. Davij is asking, what do we do with the cards that we don't ship? The, ve the veteran commons we don't ship? That's, that's how I get paid. I take all those veteran commons, go down to the local card show, the weekly card show, and sit at a booth for about eight, nine hours a day, and then uh, sell the veteran base, sell the vet commons five cents a pop. Cold, hard cash, not taxed. There's Tim Hardaway Jr. Spencer Dinwiddie, hollow. Steve Kerr. Now they they get uh they get donated. There's Enos Cantor. According to the Turkish government, he's a terrorist. It all depends on whose side you're on. One man's freedom fighter is another man's terrorist. That's what they say, right? Luka Doncic, not hollow, but we'll save one of those. Sweet Lou Williams, black velocity to 99. Now, they usually, the veteran base usually gets donated one way or another. Rated rookie, Troy Brown autograph. Goes to uh, Ed Ram, last spot mojo. You're a wizard, Ed. Ojiano Obi to 199. Hamadou Diallo rated rookie hollow. Nice. It's a nice one for Vinny. Looking for some ink on that. Out of 199, Devin Booker. Um, what's going to happen to who, Chris? Is dressed? Huh. LeBron's playing, folks. Hmm. Came back. I thought he was doubtful for today. Looks like he's okay. I don't think they're going to play him a lot of minutes, but... Although they did say that he already got eight minutes in in the first quarter. Interesting. Lakers up 27-24. It's a final in uh, San Antonio. 117 to 114. Nets lose by three. Uh, Nets lose by three. But I had them plus seven and a half tonight. Feeling good about that. Sixers are, uh, I have Sixers plus nine and a half. And they are only three points behind the Warriors in the beginning of the second quarter, which I feel pretty good about. And I and I have my Lakers, I have my Lakers money line. I feel even better about that now with LeBron back. Oh, what's going to happen with Enos Cantor? I have no, I have no idea. 
I mean, I, I don't know how serious the Turkish government is taking this. They seem like to be they seem to be pretty serious serious cats out there, though. Um, you know, it it seems like. Oh, did Luke Walte no minutes restrictions? Interesting. Well, I feel better about taking the Lakers plus one one fifty. Um, I don't know. Turkish, from what little I've read, the Turkish government, for whatever reason, has declared Enos Cantor a terrorist. I think he's made some some remarks against that government or something like that. Uh, he's scared that he'll get assassinated, so he has he does he didn't travel to uh, to London when they had a London game there. So he believes it's a real credible threat. All right. We got Nikola Mirotic, lime green to 149. You put the lime in the coconut. And our autograph is Michael Bridges, rated rookie autograph Michael Bridges for the Phoenix Suns. That'll be for Patrick. So no minutes restrictions for LeBron. So he's he's back. It was a while. Everyone in L.A. was starting to panic. Lakers need him on this road trip, though. They've got they've got a pretty tough road trip coming up. This this tonight is technically a road game. I mean, they're still playing in in Staples Center, but it's technically a Clippers home game. There's Westbrook to ninety nine. There's Kyle Kuzma. It'll be interesting to see if the Lakers end up doing a deal with the Pelicans before the deadline. There he is. There's Hassan Whiteside to 79. Lakers up by six. Will the Lakers get Anthony Davis? <laughs> There's Anthony Davis right there. He wants to play, but if they don't trade him by the deadline, I wonder if I wonder if the uh, Pelicans will consider just sitting him for the rest of the season, even though even though he's healthy, they don't want to risk injury. But maybe they're going to wait for Jason Tatum. If Boston makes Jason Tatum available. They're gonna wait for they're gonna wait for the Celtics offers in the summer. There's Nikola Mirotic to one ninety nine. So the trade deadline is next week, I believe. So I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of crazy things that could uh, that could happen. Oh, nice, Chris. Chris is like I play daily fantasy, so. So that's why I have I keep up with all this stuff. What's up with the big squares promotion? Yeah, it's a hundred million dollars. Now, did you read the item description there? It's uh, basically a chance to win win spots in our in a Super Bowl squares game. Are you familiar with the squares game? So Lakers have a tough road trip. So tonight is technically a road game. Then they go up to Golden State. This Saturday. Then they go to Indiana. Then they go to Boston. Then they go to Philadelphia. It's a long road trip. Then they go to Atlanta. Then they play Houston at home. Then they go to New Orleans. They go to Memphis. Come back to uh, home to, to host the Pelicans. Then the Bucks. I mean, it's tough. Then they go. I mean, it's a tough schedule. So if they want to make the playoffs, they, they got to... They need LeBron. You know, they got they got to win some games, especially on the tough road trip. And they definitely need to definitely use an Anthony Davis. I don't know how that's going to work though. It's a good promo, Eric. It's worth the read. It's worth the read.
This is where uh, the Trey Young is. Ricky Holbert's guessing. Yeah, Kuzma tends to play with LeBron, play well with LeBron on the court. It's actually Brandon Ingram. I'm sure many of you have seen the reports where like the efficient offensive efficiency numbers, however they calculate that, Brandon Ingram with with LeBron isn't as good as Kuzma with LeBron. If the Lakers had their druthers, they would they would have Ingram go in the trade and not Kuzma, but it's possible that that the Pelicans want will want everybody. Lonzo, Kuzma, Ingram. I don't know. Well, we'll we'll see how it turns out. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy week leading up to the trading deadline. There's Jalen Brown for the Cs at a 149. And nice Marvin Bagley the 3rd rated rookie autograph for the Sacramento Kings. Rich Schmidt. There you go, Rich. Nice. Not numbered, but very nice. More hollow rated rookies. And a nice Aaron Holiday for the Pacers, Black Velocity. Collegiate basketball sold out, nice. We can get that on the docket. With, with with Oladipo down, Aaron Holiday really needs to step up. That would be hashtag good for the hobby. There's Michael Bridges, rated rookie, to 149, lime green. All right. Next seven. Halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Steve Locke, just catching up on the earlier break. Great pull on the Carson Wentz. You're welcome. Welcome, Steve. It's a nice hit. Nice patch. Carson Wentz just has to get healthy and get it together. And that'll be a great keeper for a long time. Congrats. We've got more optic basketball in the store, folks. I, I know we're kind of booked up for for tonight, but optic. Uh, we got more optic basketball in the store. A lot of great stuff here, and a, it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty great product. Great secondary market value in this. A lot of parallels to chase. Nice on card autographs of the top rookies. So keep picking your teams. I'm sure we'll do another case or two tomorrow. Just came out uh, the other day, yesterday. So it's a brand new release. Always, always a good idea to get, especially for more of a more of the uh, rip and resell kind of thing. Always a good idea to get in on get in early on new releases as soon as you possibly can. Save one of those.
There's Keita Bates Diop to 199. And nice Grayson Allen, rookie dominator autograph. I think he's getting some minutes here and there now, right, Lou? Lou with the rookie dominators, Grayson Allen. 35 out of 50. We need him to do well. That would also be hashtag good for the hobby. That's the that's the great thing about basketball. Like it won't take you know, it won't take much for someone like Gary Trent Jr., right? Uh, to just start going off. Go on a hot streak and then next thing you know, the value of his cards are skyrocketing. The great thing about basketball, there's Joel Embiid to 199 as opposed to some of the other sports like baseball and football is that the just the insert cards for some of the top rookies can also go for a lot like a, like like a Luka Doncic rated rookie hollow refractor could go for a lot that's the great thing about these it doesn't have always have to be the autos to find some secondary market value There's LeBron out on the court, back in action. I think Jamal Murray, Anthony Davis, yeah, Jamal Murray's a good example too. Remember his rookie year? I remember his rookie year when he came out. Uh, he wasn't doing that well. Didn't play that well. Didn't, his rookie season really didn't really didn't light it up. But year two, year three has looked really good, and now his rookie stuff has been skyrocketing more than it was. You know what I mean? It's not like a Doncic levels, but. Did, what, is Jamal Murray hurt, EA? That Jamal Murray goes to Michael Golder, by the way. Come on, Jamal Murray. LeBron with the ball. Don't, don't get hurt, LeBron. One of the most important groins in basketball. He drives in the paint. Ooh, just off the rim. Looks healthy, looks spry. Look at the, I think there's only two night games right now. The Lakers-Clippers game and the Sixers are still battling. They're tied at 45-45 with about five minutes left in the first half. So they're hanging tough. Ben Simmons with 15 points, four rebounds and two assists. Uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Seth Curry who has 14 points, three assists and a steal. Here's the interesting thing, folks. DeAndre Jordan, who just got traded to the Knicks earlier today. All right, and there's a redemption. Feel free to guess on that redemption for bragging rights if you'd like. Um, they may just buy him out. He's a, he has an expiring contract. They may, they may just buy him out, and he may be on the buyout market. You know, there could be some teams, maybe like my Lakers, who could be interested in a, in a DeAndre Jordan. There's Miles Bridges to 149. Especially if, uh, or maybe even a, a role player like Wes Matthews, who was a former Laker, he might want to, might enjoy a return to LA. It's Terrence Ross, so that makes that another twist, another layer in over the next couple weeks. There's Clay Thompson to 99. There's Dame, 
to 149 for the Trailblazers. Josh Pruce with the Trailblazers. George Hill out of 199. Mango Bango asking, just curious, why do you not do recats and the long breaks? Because I want people to watch the videos. I want to reward the people that sit and spend an hour of their time with me instead of just skipping ahead to the two-minute recap video. That's the easy way out. There's Landry Shamit, rookie dominator signatures. That goes to the Sixers, Jensen Starr. Then people will just ditch me during these hour-long breaks, and I have no one to talk to during this hour-long break. And that'll make me sad. Most times I just forget, man. <laughs> we usually have breaks backed up. I usually forget. I know they don't take very long, but it's usually a case of me forgetting. And then by the time I remember, I go, well, I figure people can just watch it triple speed, or they can just hit L. To, to move 10 seconds ahead and just breeze through the break and catch it that way. All right. Next box, we have one, two, three, four autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Ricky Holbert, prayer hands. He's looking for a Trey Young. It's got to be in here somewhere, Ricky. Oh, nice steal, Kyle Kuzma. Wow, a 2012 Immaculate Anthony Davis PSA 9. 1400 bucks. Yeah, it's great in that secondary market. Warriors up 52-47 with 4-12 left in the second quarter. 5-39 left in the second quarter in L.A. Lakers and Clippers tied at 46. This is technically a Clippers home game. And I hear a lot of Lakers fans in there. All right, good luck, everybody. There's Trey Young, the rookie. That's what Ricky Holbert is looking for. He needs some ink on that. LeBron James, orange to 199. Nice for the Lakers. There's V Mahaliuk as well. The SGA, that's who Jim Gray is looking for. Mo Bamba, nice, rated rookie. There's Aaron Gordon, lime green to 149. Zaire Smith, rated rookie, hollow. Hollow! I like Trey Young's game. People are saying that that Trey Young, I, I heard someone say last night, NBA TV, there's Andre Drummond, Pink Velocity to 79, that Trey Young actually, the surprising thing to that person, I think it was like a former coach or assistant coach, some, someone, former player, um, was saying, uh, nice, Metu for the Spurs. That'll be for Larry and the San Antonio Spurs. That should be out of 10. There it is, 1 out of 10. Nice. Of 
And Omari Spellman at a 199. So speaking of the Hawks and Trey Young, um, the suggestion was that you know maybe maybe they just thought Trey Young was just going to be one of those young shooters who just come out and just start hawking the ball up. And but you there you were saying exactly, Ricky Holber. Trey Young's shot selection has been really good. He's been pretty efficient. He's been more of he's playing more defense than I think a lot of scouts and basketball folks thought that he would play. You know what I mean? Seems to be a good kid, seems to work hard, seems to be a team player, you know, so that's a good thing for Atlanta. That's what's great about Last couple of years, NBA draft, a lot of great young players in the last couple of years. And so that that's why we've been, if you've noticed on jazbeescasebreaks.com, you've noticed us, um, noticed us push the, uh, or just have more basketball available. I think most of you know about allocations in the hobby and stuff. The more basketball we move, the more basketball we can get next year because we're also big. Um, we're also big on the draft class for next year so we've taken a position on that so we can have even more basketball for all of you collectors for next year's draft class with with zion with rj barrett and i'm sure there'll be some other you know nba future nba darlings that appear in the march madness tournament right so a lot of people will make their names in that tournament so i think next this year's I think the next season's draft class is also going to be great. So it's like a few great basketball seasons kind of back to back to back, which I think is going to be fantastic. Ricky Olbers, like as bad as I want the Cavs to get Zion, I think his game would match perfectly with Trey. I could see that. I mean, that'd be great. And I, I feel like... You know, like 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 the Braves. It's a good sports town, right? People love the Braves. People love the Falcons. Atlanta United even won the MLS Cup. You know what I mean? It's a good sports town. But it's been a while, it's been a minute or two since the Hawks have have actually made noise down there. So in the ATL, I'd like to see the Hawks. You know, I'd like to see the Hawks become great again. To borrow a phrase. There's Joel Embiid to 49. DeAndre Ayton, the rookies, to 49. Nice. You can see the different parallel there. That's a nice one for the Suns. Patrick with that one. I think the Suns could be maybe with a little more seasoning from this guy. But with Devin Booker, this guy... I think the Suns thought that they were going to be a lot better than they were this season. You know, with Ariza, they signed Ariza, and I think they will couple him with DeAndre Ayton, Devin Booker, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but just didn't quite work out. Let's save one of these Mo Wagners. Didn't quite work out, but they may be one more draft, a free agent, and, uh, you know, and a couple years of seizing away. For them to be pretty strong. There's DeAndre Ayton again. Rated rookie red to 49. The old. Uh, the old Lakers Suns. Playoff rivalry was always great. Speaking of the Lakers. It's old Laker Jamal Wilkes. Hall Dominator autograph. And that goes to David Bruins with my Lakers. Little Laker Joe Mojo. Two out of ten. Lakers trailing 48-49 to the Clippers. Yeah, Josh Jackson. Oh, that that's the guy I was forgetting. I feel like second half of last year, Josh Jackson was playing much better. There's Dylan Brooks to 149. And there's Tim Hardaway Jr. to 199. But I think he... Uh, I think he's had some issues. Hey, you're welcome, David. Nice low number on that one, too.
But yeah, I think Josh Jackson hasn't had a had a solid sophomore campaign thus far. But if he kind of gets his stuff together, DeAndre Ayton, Devin Booker can score at will. He's a great player. You know, I don't know what their co I don't know who their coach is. I don't know what their coaching situation is. But maybe, maybe if there's like a add some, add some players, maybe a fresh coaching change. Who knows? Something like that. That'd be good. It'd be good to see a nice uh, Lakers Suns rivalry again. Now we gotta look for a Hamadou Diallo for you, Vinny. There needs to be a good rivalry there. There is, there's no football rivalry. I mean, LA's been without football for so long that there's really no football rivalry. I think the Diamondbacks organization would like to think that there's a rivalry between them and the Dodgers, but really the Dodgers-Giants rivalry is the, is the premier rivalry. But Suns-Lakers, Suns I think, is definitely... When the Suns are good and when, when the Lakers are good too, when both teams are good, that's I feel like that's a legit... That's a legitimate rivalry. They, they saw each other in the playoffs a number of times. So, there's a good rivalry there. Get there, LeBron. Nice shot. All right, boys and girls. Two autographs to go and a bunch of parallels. Good luck to all. There's Mitchell Robinson, rated rookie, orange to 199. And Wendell Carter Jr., rated rookie autograph for, for Thomas. EA, I thought you had the Bulls. Well, nice hit, Thomas. EA usually gets the Bulls, Thomas, so... Excuse my reaction. Rated rookie hollow on card autograph, Mr. Wendell, Wendell Carter Jr. There's Kemba Walker to 149. You know, speaking of the Grizzlies, Jaron Jackson Jr., you know, the Grizzlies have. Mike Conley and Marcus All up for trade. With all this trade, with all this trading between the the Knicks and the Mavs, I think people forget that Marcus Saul and uh, and Mike Conley are on the market. So that could be interesting too. A lot, a lot of contenders could use a Marcus Saul, right? There's Derek Favors to seventy nine. A lot of contenders could use a Mike Conley. You know, maybe a team like the Bucks could use one of those guys. There's Zach Levine to one ninety nine for Thomas. And Elia Kobu, rated rookie. Rated Rookie Hollow. All right. Final box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Warriors pulling away and finished halftime leading 60-53 to on the 76ers. Sixers seven points down. And Lakers, 35 seconds left in the first half. LeBron with a missed shot, but a putback. No, come on, JaVale. Lakers are leading 54-51. Looks like uh, Clippers might have the last possession here. I don't know, Lakers might still have a few seconds left. Ricky Obert says, I wish I could put Dame on the Bucks. Ooh. Team would be a legit title threat. 
think they are a threat in the East, but not enough to beat the Warriors. What about, or let's flip that. What about Giannis in Portland? Either way, I think that'd be pretty amazing. Yeah, D Damian Lillard. Portland backcourt. What about that? Portland backcourt in Milwaukee. With Giannis. A couple other role players. Woo! They, I feel like they would, they would... I don't know if they'd cruise through the East. Philadelphia would still be tough. Especially with a healthy Joel Embiid. Celtics could be tough, but... I'd like to see that seven seven game series between Bucks and the Warriors. That'd be pretty interesting. All right, last box, last auto, last handful of parallels. Good luck, everybody. There's Alfred Payton to one ninety nine. It's Michael Bridges. Good luck, everybody. All stars, LeBron James. There's Jamal Murray. There's Kuz. Yeah, can can you believe it? They, have, do they have DeMarcus Cousins? It's just ridiculous. Joe Ingles. Jingles to 49. It's to 99, Andre Drummond. I thought that was going to be the autograph. There's Kyrie Irving. Kyrie come back to join LeBron here in LA? That'd be crazy. A lot of crazy things can happen in the NBA in the next next week before the trading deadline, in the buyout market, and then in the summer with all the free agency and everything. There's Zach Levine to 99. And the last auto is going to go to the Suns. Rated rookie on-card auto, Elia Kobu. That is for Patrick and the Phoenix Suns. There you go, Pat. Thanks for getting in. Thanks, everybody. That was 2018-19 Donruss Optic Basketball. Pick your team. There's J.R. Smith. Pick your team number three. We've got plenty in the store. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Check it out. A lot of amazing stuff in here. So keep buying your team. Let's keep popping these breaks open, and we'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.